Hello everyone, welcome to yet another important video on Tableau interview questions. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the questions that were asked in Barclays. So without wasting much time, let us get started. While I do that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe because in our channel, we are continuously discussing about the recently asked Tableau interview questions of many companies. And this is a community driven channel because most of the questions are shared by subscribers that they have attended themselves so that it can help those who are planning to attend interviews. Now, let us get started. So this was the first round of Barclays. Okay, and uh, let us congratulate our subscriber who has successfully cleared her round one and uh, she is waiting for round two to be scheduled. So in the first round of this, the first question, like I always say, was asked, tell me about yourself. So I think by now we all know what we need to answer in this. So you have to be very crisp here. Make your answer as per perfect as you can because in every interview that you go, this is the definite question that will be coming. So, okay, you need to play around your role, like what kind of work you have done, okay? So, like, did you interact with the client? Is your role client-facing role? Have you been part of requirement documents? So, uh, all you have to mention that uh, were you part of migration, okay? All of these key aspects you have to talk about your role and your server role what kind of role you have done in server so make it like uh, five to six points always ready for this question so this will give just uh, to the interviewer like what you are up to like what kind of work you have done so because this is the first answer that you are going to all answer always i want you to be very perfect this remember Okay, because this is going to play a very crucial role for the next questions that will come in, come to you. Okay, so make sure you play around all, like say about, uh, I want you to answer, keeping this in mind, you no know, mention points about documentation. Okay, because documentation is also very important, documentation and then testing and then requirement migration and server related points. So you need to, Focus around this, obviously. I mean, all the time. So development is like mandatory. So I'm not writing or let me writing that also. So these are something that you need to keep in mind always, 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 always. Okay. So maybe if at all you have a doubt, maybe you can create a rough draft and send it to me. We can together work and prepare, uh, you know, a fine version of what you want to tell about this role. Okay. Tell me about yourself. Okay, and we'll post it. The best answer wins. Okay, so comment down with the points that you want to write. I'll correct and send it to you, and that way we can improvise what we are going to. Next is what work did you do as a Tableau developer or as a data analyst? So again, this is also important. The question is basically to test you how much of exposure you have on Tableau, or as a developer, or in your role, what role you have. So don't uh, do not tell that you know you have never worked in a team or you have never interacted with the client and all. So you always need someone to be uh, you know support you or like you know you don't give like that kind of answers because it gives us or it gives interviewer a negative answer. Always tell them that you know you are confident enough to handle projects independently. Okay, that is very important because. The trend these days is you might also be the only developer in your team. So when interviewer will check, tell that, okay, you will be the only developer who is going to work in the in this project. Are you willing to take it up? Then don't hesitate to tell no or don't hesitate. Just tell that, okay, you are confident enough to take up the task and you can do it confidently. Okay. So if you have any issues, you will reach out to the client or you know get clarifications and all we can do. But in the first step, step itself, don't cut yourself off, okay? Tell them, okay, I can do it and I have done that in my role as well, okay? So that will definitely, you know, boost boost uh, the interviewer's confidence and yours also. Next is again one common question that many get. So again, this is like project-based question. How are you getting the data? Like you are creating view or table or you 
are getting from somewhere else. This is to test if you know the flow of data in your current project. This is very important. I think people or professionals who are already working in a project, they might explain something on this question, but someone who is trying to attend without that, then you need to know what is the process. Again, you need to prepare a story for this or have an answer ready. Again, like if you want, you can send me the draft version of this or what you are planning to do. I can correct and send it to you if you need. Okay. So you can tell that whether whether DB team is involved in you know getting the data to you or an ETL team is there who will load the data into final tables and from there you are connecting your tableau and creating views and all. So some technical words are involved, some technical processes involved to get you the final data that you have to explain in this question. Okay, if you are if you are aware of that, you can tell. If not, just comment in the comment section or you can email me. I will help you with an answer. Okay. So first two questions. Okay. You can send me or you can write it in the comment section. I will send you the, we can have the final version of this ready. Okay. So again, it is again, we all know difference between live and extract. So I want you to answer at least three to four points on each of this. What is live connection and what is extract connection? When do we go for a live connection and when do we go? So I'm going to write it here. You need to talk about this. What is life and what is extract? Next is when do we go for life and when do we uh, when do we go for extract? Uh, have you used uh, in in your current project? How are you connected? And uh, what are the different uh, options that we have in extract and uh, scheduled extracts if possible okay so answer all of this keeping these points in your mind okay what is live and what is extract then you need to uh, tell when do we go for a live and extract so basically if the client wants near real-time data, then we go for a uh, live connection or if client is okay with little delay in data, then we can go for extract and then we can schedule those extracts to run at a specific time. And then or if the volume of data is more, even then we go for the extract. But how do we justify that what, how much of volume is more because the number might be different for me, the number might be different for you. Okay. So check with the client if he is okay with whatever the performance of your dashboard is. If not, you can always schedule. Like suppose you're working in a banking domain, then obviously it will be an extract connection most of the time because data will be loaded only once a time. Check how your data is getting loaded in your tables. Is it getting updated? every now and then or is it scheduled to run at a specific time? So if it is scheduled to run at a specific time, no point in you know uh, having live connection because it anyhow, if the uh, data will not change, so you can go for an extract or live connection like, like that, okay? So make sure you take all of these points into considering when you're answering this. Next thing is difference between discrete and continuous. Okay, one again, one common question. Continuous is continuous in nature, discrete is discrete, okay? So like one is with finite and another one is infinite axis. So how many values can we select in a parameter at a time? Okay, so we can have only single select at a time, okay? Explain that is one, uh, only one, uh, what you call a limitation that we have with the parameter, but that also we will be using like uh, a plus point for many of these scenarios that we have in real time. Next is explain the types of filters. Again, one uh, very commonly asked question this days. Like, you know, in many companies we have seen, if you have gone through my videos, you might have seen that, you know, this question has come to many times, okay? So again, I, if this kind of question is coming, I want you to take at least 15 minutes to answer because it is something that we have prepared very well. So I want you to answer from what uh, the filter is how many types of 
filters we have all the types like you know data source filter normal filter context filter cascading filter sharing filter okay all of and quick filter and a user filter i want you to talk about all of these filters if they are asking question about filter okay because this is very easy question i want you to score full marks in this question okay comment down if at all you were asked this question in real time and how many minutes you took for answering this okay next is difference between set and group okay so like i would say group is a static here where is this? whereas set is dynamic so let us write it down here so group is a static and uh, set is dynamic okay like uh, group of friends they are always fixed okay once we have our best friend he will always be there that is the notion that we have that is static so girlfriend is dynamic in nature he or she might change right depending on the case sorry no offense okay let us be suppose we have a class of 10 students so top 5 uh, students of a class might change with every test that we take right so that is dynamic in nature like top 5 sales of january will be different top 5 sales of uh, february will be different that way every month based on their sales they have achieved it will be changing changing like in real time the performer of the month he might be changing every month so, okay like uh, he can't be same for for 12 months etc so based on whoever is performing best he will be given award so that is one set we can call group is static so once we have defined that as a group it, it will not change like in a group of customers together okay like that now next is what is lod and types of lod again one very important question lod means level of detail expression okay so like at which level you want your what you call aggregation to be fixed or the level of granularity of your data in that kind of cases we go for lod expression so anything that is enclosed in flower braces we call it as lod expressions and these are followed by scoping words like say fixed comma include and exclude are three scoping words or keywords we call so followed by colon and then one aggregated measure like say sum of sales like this okay so this is your lod expression so i want you to explain this whenever lod question is being asked like how many, what is lod how many types of lod's are there and if you have used anything for lod's then you can talk about that two table next question was like two table names are different but data is same uh, how to use the new table so we just need to replace the data source okay and then we can connect it to that table okay so oh, if we can go here just click on this so add the new data source with the new table and maybe you can click on replace data source here so if i go here click on replace data source option so currently it is disabled so first you need to add it so i'll just add it now so if i click on this okay replace <clears throat> i'm just clicking on replace data source so here you have to check the new data or a different table that you have and then you can change it here so that is something that we can add it how to use group by function here so group by function so group by in a sql whenever we want to use it with aggregated function we use like say select sum of sales 
suppose I want to have my sales with respect to category, then directly category, comma, sum of sales from sample superstore, group by category we are doing. So this way we can group in SQL, okay? But whereas in Tableau, when I talk about group by, then suppose I, uh, I think, you know, it is about he's asking, I want to group all the customers starting with A. Then I can simply click on this customer name and click on create and click on group. So this way I can group the customers that I want together and click on group. This way we can group them. So here I will write it at customer name with A and click on if you want all others to be in other, click include other. So now we have totally only two groups, customer name with A and other one is other. Click on apply. That's it. Now we can take this and drop it here and just remove it. This is how we can group them here. Okay. I think this is what he is talking about when he says group by function. The report is not running in server in live connection and Excel. Next question is an Excel data access we have, what is the issue? So he's telling that report is not running in server in live connection and Excel data access we have, what is the issue? So the issue here is related to data loading in Tableau. Okay, so you need to make sure your data refresh is getting successfully completed. Try to refresh it, go to here and maybe you can click on this. And from server also, you can try to reload that or rerun that. And if at all, you can, uh, you still are getting the error. You need to check the error message that you are getting when you are trying to rerun the job based on the uh, message that you are getting. You can take the necessary actions. So mostly it would be connection related issues. If Tableau is unable to make connection to the data source, in that situations only it will throw error or if you do not have permission to the uh, this path whatever it is there from the server or your ports are closed then during that time tableau will not be able to communicate and then it will throw an error so it could be so i'm writing it as it could be password related issues it could be connection issues or network issues or access related issues. So you need to make sure all of this are, this are correctly working. Then you need to check what is the error message you are getting and then you can take the necessary action. So most of the time, if all of this are correct, then you should not have any access. So what actions you used in the, in the project? So again, it is work related, uh, like your role related actions, what type of work you have done and all what navigation does in dashboard object. So it, help, uh, it helps us in navigating from one dashboard to other or one from one to another. Okay, it can be from your one worksheet to another worksheet or one one workbook, one dashboard to another. So wherever you want to navigate, you can navigate. So actions is, I think dashboard actions is talking about, not the other one, sorry. So if I go to the dashboard here, if I click on dashboard and click on actions, here we have many actions. So widely used actions are filter actions, go to URL or go to change, or go to sheet and change set values. These are something that we very often use in real time. Okay, so comment in comment section which action you have used. So we have used filter action and go to sheet actions many times in my project. So yeah, I think that was the last question that was asked. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think that's it from my side in this video. I hope you liked it and it helped you. If you like it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and please do comment in the comment section because according to the algorithm of YouTube, it, it shares better when you comment more. Okay, so no other intention. Have a good day and see you in next video. Bye-bye.